This video is sponsored by Skillshare. What's truly good with you guys, it's your boy, Jan Hunter Jr. We're finally back at it again, and we are going to talk about the WWDC uh, event, but more so from a music producer standpoint and what we need to know and what we need to look out for. So let's dive right into this. Musicians community, sometimes we get excited and we update right away and we end up in a hot mess. So I want to do my due diligence with giving you guys some knowledge um, on this matter and just trying to help you guys out. So let's talk about the pros about these new units and then we're going to talk about the cons. So let's get into it. So now with the new MacBook Air, it has the new M2 chip, which is phenomenal. It's, it's basically twice as fast as the M1 chip and you're going to get double the speed and you'll be able to get way more out of your machine. So yeah, you can see the all new design and you know how Apple does it, they blow it up real big with the graphics. So now you don't necessarily need an advanced pro machine to do music production at a starting bare minimum level. You could even do the M1 chip, but let's talk about the MacBook Air and let's view the pricing and we'll dive into what you're really getting and what this means for us as music producers. So here it is with the M2 chip. This is $1199. Here's your new colors. You have your Midnight. You have Starlight, Space Gray, and Silver, which is dope. So now these are uh, 8 core CPU and 10 core GPU, 8 gigs of unified memory. This is just to start you out and then 512 uh, gigs of SSD storage, which is really good. And all of that is going for about like $14.99. So this will definitely get you started as a music producer uh, in 2022. Just to get you started, uh, I think this is a phenomenal machine um, for you. You have the power, um, twice as much power as, as, as two years ago. So yeah, this will definitely suit you well um, for getting started. This is like the new foundation starter kit. You can actually get yourself a decent uh, music production laptop entry level for about 1500 bucks and you have some solid power on you. So speaking of music production and taking full advantage of your career in music production, let's shout out our sponsor. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you're looking to take your music career to the next level online, then check it out. Skillshare has some phenomenal classes for you to do so. Now you're not limited to just classes about YouTube. They have phenomenal classes on cooking, photography, and many other topics that will really help you sharpen your skills. So I'm checking out the YouTube success for music making and artists by Michael Backstrom, music producer, sound designer, and video producer. And so I'm getting a ton of value checking out this dude's class because he has shed some light on things that I didn't know about. And so it's definitely bringing a lot of value to me because again, making money on YouTube is basically my primary source of income. So I'm telling you guys, if you guys want to go to the next level in your music production outside of waiting on clients, outside of waiting on, you know, placements and stuff like that, I would definitely strongly urge you to go ahead and check out Skillshare and check out this dude's course because he breaks it down. So with all that said, now by default, if you sign up today, you're going to get a seven day free trial. But the first thousand people that use the link in the description of this video will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So you could check out this dude's class and many other phenomenal classes. Thank you so much Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into it. Okay, so let's talk about the cons. The cons are, you guys hear it all the time, we have to give time for the developers to update their programs. So your Pro Tools, Ableton, FL Studio, Studio One, we have to give the developers time to come up with the updates. Now, these DAWs may work and you will have functionality, but when they say not supported, not supported doesn't mean it doesn't work. 
not supported means if you have any issues, if your computer crashes, if you have any problems, if you tell them that you're on Ventura, they're gonna say immediately like, we don't have any support for Ventura, you're on your own. Now me personally, in a couple of updates ago, I was in that same position. I installed Pro Tools on my laptop before it was supported. Now it did work, but I came across some blotches in my screen and there were some kinks every here and there, but it did work now you guys know that i use logic pro all of the time that's my main doll like i always use logic for my production and even mixing logic pro will work because obviously it's native but you have to consider your third party plugins so that means your waves that means your slate that means <laughs> all of these other companies that make third party tools for you to be able to enhance your music production you're going to have to give them time so that's the major cons of these new updates is okay you have a powerful machine um, like this new macbook air and i think the macbook air is amazing uh, i think the new uh, macbook pros are amazing and i believe that if you're at least on monterey by now uh, in 2022, I'm shooting this. This today is June 8th, 2022. So if you're on Monterey by now, then you should be all set to go. I usually try to stay at least one operating system behind just to make sure that everything is compatible. I never jump to the latest operating system when it first comes out because there's a high possibility that there's going to be uh, tools that I use that won't work right away and I have to wait for them to update. And if you are a serious producer where you have clients that are expecting projects and you have deadlines, then I would not recommend uh, updating to Ventura uh, as soon as it comes out just give it some time uh, that we're not saying don't update at all we're saying give it some time and this is only to benefit you now i do like the updates of venture it's got a lot to offer um but as of right now before ventura even comes out i'm i want to help bring my voice and shed some light on this topic to say Give it a minute. I get a lot of questions about, you know, what Mac should uh, entry level, uh, intermediate level and, and advanced producer should get. So I'm going to do the intermediate level and then I'm gonna give you the pro level of what my next uh, purchase is gonna be. So I would definitely recommend uh, the MacBook Pro. The specs that you would need to get the optimum performance, again, this is, it is on the M1. However, some stuff is still running on Rosetta. So it still has you on somewhat of a starter kit. Uh, in a way, you're not utilizing all of the power of the M1 because you're on Rosetta for some tasks. So I would recommend if, if you are going to use an external monitor like I have and you're not really tripping off that, then I would recommend a 14-inch uh, and then let's customize this. Okay, so here's what I would do uh, for intermediate producer that's working in the industry and stuff like that. Um, I would definitely recommend you go with, uh, honestly, the stock uh, eight core, 16 core is, is sweet for you. You really don't need too much uh, of the GPU bump. Um, but if you just want to have that bump, go ahead and go to the M1 Pro with a 10 core. If you just have to have it, um, you can go ahead and do that. Um, I would recommend 32 um, unified memory. And that's just for your, your VSTs. If you're using a lot of uh, Omnisphere, if you're using a lot of third-party plugins, again, this is your more intermediate to close to advanced producers. Um, I would recommend 32 gigs of memory, but <clears throat> you will survive if you do 16 uh, gigs of unified memory. You will just have to bounce a lot of your tracks in place, which is what you should do anyway um, to avoid a lot of that MIDI cluttering up uh, your memory. So <clears throat> just keep that in mind. This is where this stuff matters. 
So let's just go ahead and roll with the 32. Uh, and then, like I said, I like to have at least a bare minimum amount of a one terabyte to two terabytes. Um, so let's do one terabyte and let's say you want to do the rest um, on external drives. You can do that. The 96 watt USB joint is included. Hallelujah. Uh, we don't need any of this. So you're looking at roughly about three grand after Apple, after taxes and Apple Care, you're looking at like at least 3,200 or something like that. So this is pretty significant because this same specs on my current laptop on the Intel is actually twice the amount of this. I've actually paid almost five grand for my current laptop that's on Intel. So the fact that you have this much power for this uh, cheaper price is utterly amazing, which means the entry to barrier is lowered once again for creators to take full advantage of this technology. So again, this recommendation is for your more advanced, uh, intermediate advanced producers where you're trying to, or you're already working in the industry and you want to have a fast paced workflow. So here's my next investment, how I'm going to spec my Mac studio. Now for me, once again, I do video editing. I work with 4k, um, video from my a 6,400 and my Sony ZV one. So I'm not going to get the ultra cause it's not that serious. It's just 4k. So I'm going to select just the uh, M one max. And so for me, I'm going to bump this up to the M one max. 32 core and 16 core. And then I'm going to keep the 32 gigs of memory. And then for my storage, I'm going to do about two terabytes. And that's pretty much all I'm going to need. I'm going to have to order this. Uh, as, if we look at the um, delivery dates, we're looking at July 21st to July 28th as of today for this to arrive. So um, in order for me to not have any issues, I would have to get this right away because I want this to ship on Monterey. Um, everything is functional um, to our knowledge in the producer community. But again, let us know in the comments what you guys think. And hey, if you guys got some value out of this video, give your boy a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn on those bell notifications so you don't miss anything else. This is a high value channel. Thank you so much for your time and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Hey guys, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Check it out. I got some free packs for you guys in the description of this video and some really good resources for you guys. And I'll catch you next time.